Just confirm that we're going live. We're interrupting an action for Assange live stream that we're hosting on our uh, Twitch page. Let's see if it kicks in. Might have to reboot. Ah, there we go. Nice. Good morning, good morning, everyone. And good afternoon and happy new year. Today is January 2nd, 2021, and we're doing a math live stream, drop in math tutoring session for uh, our first live stream of this year. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. And uh, it's an open discussion, basically uh, making myself available for uh, a couple hours anywhere between two to four times a month to help people with uh, mathematics if they have any questions, if they need any help with mathematics, uh, you know, make myself available and uh, see if we can help people out. Uh, if the mathematics is above me, there are people that pop in to these live streams that their mathematics is a little bit more powerful, they're a lot more powerful than mine, and uh, they've been lending a hand with some of the math questions as well and we do have a discord page where people are sharing information and helping each other out and talking about a lot a lot of different things aside from that uh, let me give you a little intro um, until notifications go out and people start popping in uh, notifications on discord and twitch if you want to follow this work if you want to know what this work is about i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho C-H-Y-C-H-O, if you want to support this work, if you want to know what this is all about, which is basically layered on mathematics. So we've been creating work for about 15 years now, longer actually, I guess, and sharing a lot of information, everything sort of layered on mathematics. And you can follow the work there. For those of you who've been supporting this work on Patreon, thank you very much for the support, gang. I appreciate it. And uh, it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this and we're able to continue this and I can do the calculus, the mathematics and sort of try to figure out where we're going with all this stuff. Dragons, how are you doing? What's up, Chicho? Happy New Year, Happy New Year. <laughs> Here's to another interesting uh, 2021, right? 2020 was uh, pretty interesting. Let's see what 2021 has in store for us. I think it's just gonna continue, really. And um, I don't put anything beyond paywalls. Everything's creative commons. Share, share, like, gang. Uh, and if you do like this work, you can follow it and check out everything that we do. Um, and if you do have the means, if you think uh, this work deserves your support through funds, Patreon is a great way to make sure that we continue to do what it is that we are doing. We are live streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash chicho live, C H Y C H O L I V E. If you want to participate in the chat, Twitch is where it's at. Okay. Uh, it's the platform we've chosen to live stream because we can live stream everything that we want to live stream on here for now. Um, if the sensors sort of tighten up on, tighten up on us, uh, we might move to another platform, but that's not in the works anytime soon. And we do love this platform fantastic community we've built here and there's a lot of support coming in a lot of discussion a lot of participation and uh, it is linked up with our discord page so loving loving what we are doing here lonely piggy how are you doing chicho happy new year brother happy new year brother hope you're doing well health health wealth and good blessings to you and yours and to everyone and to everyone and lonely piggy snacks i got pickles out i got i had craving for pickles Okay, so we got homemade pickles with garlic. Here, let's see if it'll focus. There it is. Look at that focus, focusability. It's garlic, uh, cucumber, and onions. Delicious. Dragons, thank you very much for the donation, brother. Very much appreciate it. For some reason, it doesn't pop up in our chat. I'm glad I caught it on the on the pop up here. Uh, Happy New Year, brother. Happy New Year. If you were here, I'd share my pickles with you. <laughs> I'm gonna pop in a pop of garlic. Stay healthy, gang. Eat well. All right. I could eat an entire jar of pickles thing. Pickle things. So good, so good. And in the winter, it's the way to get your 
Oh, that's sort of greens and veggies and stuff like this. Shop. <laughs> Shop feed. <laughs> what? <laughs> Troll, possibly. <laughs> possibly. But Bor Borno Fossil, whatever, risk. Hang around for a while, right? Listen to a little mathematics. See what it's all about. Your trolling powers will increase tenfold just by sitting back and enjoying a two hour math session. Just imagine what your trolling abilities will be if you sit back and learn mathematics where you understand the language of mathematics to a deep level, right? You could become a legend right you could reach legend troll status and there are legends out there right there are legend trolls out there there's a few of them love the legend trolls not you know don't very much like the weak trolls they give trolls bad names right and that's why trolls have bad names because a lot of trolls they're weak <laughs> they, don't, they don't know what it really means to do the calculus right hang around for a while you could you could right born of oh, osiris is a pretty cool name oh is that born of osiris cool name indeed i couldn't make it out born of osiris indeed it is indeed it is gang i do announce these live streams and by the way thank you for the support gang on twitch thank you for being here thank you for the discussions thank you for jumping on to these live streams and mods thank you for supporting this work we do announce these live streams on parlor lo minds vk gap and twitter 30 minutes before we go live okay and we do share additional information there and you can come to our discord page anytime you want and go exclamation mark social and all the links here will pop up and we do have a discord page and the link is way at the bottom and there's a lot of people joining our discord participating in conversations helping each other out on the math folder math channel and whatnot okay so you're definitely welcome to pop into there marco pan see ya one two three hey chicho happy new year all the best all the best to you as well all the best to you as well cornflakes how are you doing hello all happy new year happy new year ho 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 <laughs> i hope you guys had a fantastic new year by the way feline juice morning morning how are you doing daily fifa 20. sup bro not a good day today my team called uh celtic Celt my team called celtic has lost the league for for you it's soccer but yeah oh Cel celtic uh uk right did they oh, it is saturday so they must be playing they lost the game oh no cd death how are you doing for 20 Chicho, my man, happy new year, sir. Happy new year to you as well. Gang, for live streams where we don't have any visuals, we will be uploading the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash Chicho as podcast. And those audio files, those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform, including Spotify and iTunes. And we will be uploading this video to both BitChute and YouTube. And if you're on those platforms, you can support this work uh, by joining, subscribing, liking, sharing and uh, if you're on youtube you can support this work by joining youtube membership and there's a button there and there's a handful of people that have uh joined youtube membership and are supporting this work through youtube membership thank you very much for the support okay uh very much appreciate it and it is because of the support we're getting on all these different platforms patreon twitch youtube bitshoot all the other platforms that we're able to do what it is that we are doing Hello, hello, H N Y. Chicho, Chicho, Chicho. Are you Latin? Um, Latin? Uh, no. Uh, no, not Latin. Marco. So far, so good. I've been uh, trying to uh, conquer 2021. I made the resolutions to pick up boxing again. Nice and also brush up on guitar nice nice that's good boxing is great exercise right keeps you fit like mad and man if you've never if you don't appreciate how powerful boxing is 
you've never done this go in front of a heavy punching bag and try to maintain a punch for just rhyth rhythmic punching for two minutes right three minutes you're pouring sweat pouring sweat right my ex friend nickname was chicho as well aha nice chicho i've heard uh chicho in uh, bulgarian means uncle elder god how are you doing Oh, the elder god's following the football soccer. He was from uh, Jalicio, Mexico. Mexico. Yeah, my name, by the way, is a mix of. It's a it's a couple of nickname nicknames mashed up together, and I've been using it for twenty five years for a long time, long time. Let me take these guys down. So, gang, uh, math stream. We'll deal with your math questions if you have them. Okay um and it is an open discussion but i do have some stuff i have some students uh, that i've been working with focus 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 i do have some uh, students that i've been working with i just work with them we do our own schedule we don't really follow uh school schedule and stuff um but she has some work uh to to hand in to do sort of a take home exam and um these were the later questions that she got done and um, I want to check them to make sure she did them right right so if there's any questions that you have regarding mathematics specifically post them in the chat for sure we'll deal with them until any math questions come up right let me go over these there's five of them these are the questions and I wrote down her answers as well so I want to check these to make sure she's doing them right right so if she gets the answer correct, then great. If she doesn't, then I look through the work uh, with my students to see where they might have made a mistake. And that's the key. If you're doing mathematics, if you're able to catch your own mistakes, you just amplify your learning process, right? In order of magnitude, better, faster, right? And as a teacher, as a instructor, the best way to educate someone to help them go through hurdles and help them uh, learn mathematics is to look at their work and see where they might have made a mistake and that is a trigger that is a point that needs to be dealt with and as soon as you deal with that then they can move along right so you just help them along through obstacles right elder god i prefer to kick a heavy bag yeah yeah since it's math i hit 2.7 times harder then my you oh indeed the legs are power man if you're if you anybody if you're doing any type of physical training work on the legs elder god what is it the percentage uh 50 of your power comes through your legs i think something like this marco chicho in february i start my new semester and have an advanced functions course is there any type of online tutoring service you offer online tutoring like one-on-one -on -one? yeah i do have one-on-one -on -one, uh, students marco that i work with um you're definitely welcome to pop into these live streams and ask us questions uh, and we'll work work through whatever you're working through right uh, but if you need additional help for sure contact me i do i have um, I, my students right now are just in bc and alberta uh, but I've worked with other students from the uh, online with all with, in the U US as well I haven't done any students in Europe yet Wow you're a teacher I didn't know that I, I do private tutoring I don't work in an institution central institution I can't I would be fired within a within a week right in boxing the truth is in the is in the legs everything it, within all types of uh, any type of martial arts or fighting it's the legs that matter but sure you need upper body and you need flexibility you need this stuff you need the um the form but the legs is where you get the power right and a punch it's more like 80 percent from the legs 80 percent from legs cool 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 um let's do the first question these are rational expressions and rational equations so you're simplifying rational expressions and solving rational equations which kicks you up into graphing rational functions 
okay thanks i'll contact you if need be it's uh, for my psych program uh, at york university in toronto okay cool so there's going to be uh, lots of stats in there a gre prep uh, we've we've done some stuff gre is really the uh, i forget what it stands for grade equivalency test or whatever it is it's it's basically high school math but sort of takes you to grade 10 and grade 11 mathematics really and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information please see our julian assange and wikileaks playlist let's simplify this rational expression 2x over x minus 5 minus x over x plus 2 x plus 2 and then we're going to multiply this guy by x minus 5 x minus 5 over do, 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 x squared plus 10x minus 39 x squared plus 10x minus 39 okay so this is just a rational expression that you want to simplify right crunch 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 when you get something like this first order of business factor whatever you can right so this guy can't be factored anymore this guy can't be factored anymore this guy can right this is a quadratic we're looking to for two numbers that multiply to give you negative 39 add to give you positive 10 right so crunch 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 x x and we've done a lot of this i, I got a two two playlists right uh in our youtube channel where we did like two summers worth of factoring graphing quadratic functions uh graphing polynomial functions using synthetic division we did a, a two summers one full year of this basically one full year plus of this and i created a lot of videos so this is a simple trinomial if you want to know how to what the principle behind this is you want to check those things out when you're doing this kind of thing we're under the assumption you already know how to factor polynomials right so two numbers that multiply to give you negative 39 add to give you 10 are positive 13 and negative 3 right so positive 13 and negative 3 okay yeah i spent the summer doing it at a military school cool the factoring stuff or boxing now you can cross that out because this is the one you're dealing with so first order of business when you're doing simplifying rational expressions first order of business factor second write down your restrictions not that you need them for simplifying rational expressions but you do need them for solving rational equations and you need them for graphing rational functions i used to do this in school but i forgot most of it yeah yeah a lot of people do if you don't if you don't there's a saying it says uh, use it or lose it <laughs> right and that applies to many things right so first thing we're going to do it now is the second thing is restrictions now the only restriction we have in mathematics really is no division by zero you can't divide by zero so what you end up doing is diet duck thank you very much for the tier one sub so what we do is and daily fifa 20 redeem 500 points <laughs> i remember you can save up your points at some point we're going to do auctions again right sort of uh my appreciation for people being here if we can't divide by zero which is a restriction then the denominators cannot equal zero right we can't have this equal in zero this equal in zero or this equal in zero right so what we can do is just do this on the side here this is the steps and let's find our restrictions here let's do the restrictions here restrictions right restriction is no dividing by zero <laughs> what does that do it just clicks it when you spend time watching on twitch or you subscribe or uh, you do different things you gather up points right the 500 points is just you're redeeming points as a 
uh, as you acquire them for a thank you now what you can do uh, I'm not sure how twitch deals with them for creators I, I don't know what what they do with it they, they might be giving me like bonus points or something like this I, I really don't know but what I ended up doing was creating extra points uh, where where we just we've done one of these where I did auctions I auctioned up some of the comic books that I published some of the jam that I made and honey that we bought and people re did auction bidding and the highest bidder for a certain something that we're selling not selling but auctioning off uh, I sent all that stuff up uh, out to people so we auctioned up a whole bunch of stuff we did it like a three-hour live stream right so you can save up your points okay Chicho, I remember last year in high school I struggled with uh, limits as X approaches infinity can you explain to me what a limit is 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 it uh, as simple as point or line that a function does not pass uh, yes but there's different ways of approaching it we'll do one after this because this is related to limits restrictions are related to limits by the way could you prove that uh, your factorial is indefinite the quadratic reverse I guess what I don't know what that means Marco of course when you finish this first no rush yeah we'll do we'll do one just related with this actually we can just take this and say that's a function and we'll look at the limit okay hey what's up Rambo how you doing my comics are still not in hello wait a second you you got your comics didn't you but you haven't picked oh you haven't got them in your hands yet you haven't visited yeah everything's locked down unfortunately and gang thank you for the follows tier four has killed my travel plans yeah yeah and I didn't I think this is the first time ever really that I haven't visited family for holidays right so if we're doing restrictions no dividing by zero that means x minus five cannot equal zero and the cannot equal to sign you treat it like an equal to sign so you say x cannot equal five this one is x plus two cannot equal zero so x cannot equal negative two so that's one restriction and then x cannot equal negative two that's another restriction and over here you set both of those equal to zero or not equal to zero right i got confused in the factorization uh i want to multiply it to get the quadratic reverse factorization oh yeah uh you mean foiling yeah 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 foiling you do this watch this x plus 13 times x minus 3 right going from here to here is factoring going from here to here is called foiling right so all you do this guy multiplies this and this this guy multiplies this and this x times x is x squared x times negative 3 is negative 3x 13 times x is positive 13x 13 times negative 3 is negative 39 combine your like terms you get x squared plus 10x minus 39 which you got that guy back right so it's just foiling right daily FIFA I live all the way in Scotland so even if I done a bit and warm I wouldn't be able to get it uh, you know what I sent uh, three packages to the UK in that auction it cost it cost a fair bit of penny man oh my god it cost too much but three people from the uk won and we sent it there right so you can save up your points and uh if you win during the auctions i will send it it might take a while right because it's so far <laughs> right yeah see graphical stuff is frustrating because solving isn't always the problem it's all not, not always the problem so the other restriction we have is this x plus 13 times x minus 3 cannot equal 0 and when you have two things multiplied together to equal 0 or not equal 0 you set each one not equal to 0 so x plus 13 cannot equal 0 and x minus 3 cannot equal 0 so x cannot equal negative 13 and x cannot equal 3 so we got four restrictions for this rational expression okay don't want you to spend money that wouldn't be no uh, no you know what they daily fifa uh it's my way of showing appreciation aside from doing all this right i thought it was a lot of fun uh so that's cool if you win i send okay 
Now, we want to simplify this. We got this going on. As soon as you factor, look into simplifying again. So see if you can simplify. Simplify. Does anything cancel out? No. Nothing cancels out. If this was an x minus 5, the x minus 5s could kill each other, but they don't, right? Next thing you do, you follow bed mass. Which is basically follow the rules of mathematics to crunch things together, right? So for us, we're going to do inside the brackets first, addition, subtraction, right? So when we're adding two fractions, we're looking for a common denominator. So this guy, we're just going to leave alone, right? But this guy, we're going to say the common denominator is x minus 5 times x plus 2. So common denominator is x minus 5 times x plus 2. And then you ask yourself, what did you multiply x minus 5 to give you x minus 5 times x plus 2? Well, you multiply x plus 2. So the top multiplies by x plus 2. So this becomes 2x times x plus 2 minus x. Would you multiply this to give you this? This, x minus 5. That's just adding and subtracting fractions. I hope that's clear. And then you just write this guy down. x minus 5 over x plus 13, x minus 13. And then you crunch the top. Focus, 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 focus. And then you crunch the top, right? So expand this in, expand this in, right? So this becomes 2x squared plus 4x. Negative x times x is negative x squared. Negative x times negative 5 is plus 5x. All over x minus 5 times x plus 2 times x minus 5 over x plus 13, x minus 13, right? And then you crunch again, right? Combine like terms. So what combines? You got 2x squared minus x squared. These two combine. Now, usually, if you can, reduce the amount of copying that you're doing, right? So if I want to crunch this, I can crunch this and rewrite everything again. But when you're rewriting, you might make mistakes, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crunch this thing here and write it up top. So 2x squared minus x squared is x squared, right? So that and that are dealt with. 4x plus 5x is 9x plus 9x, right? Did we do that right? I think so, right? Da, 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 da. Yeah. Now what you do is you factor what you can. Okay. Over here, you can factor out on x. Now, I don't have any more room here, so I'm going to rewrite everything, right? So I'm going to factor out an x up top, and you got x plus 9 left in the bottom you got x minus 5 and you got x plus 2 times x minus 5 over x plus 13 x oh look at this i made a mistake i made this a 13 and it shouldn't be it's a 3 x minus 3 right check your work okay don't like we went from here to here and because I was looking here and talking, I made a mistake. So when you're doing problems, focus on the problem, right? Don't take your eyes off the page, the work that you're doing until you finish. And then you can let your eyes wander and stretch or whatever you need to do, right? So minus three. Now you got two fractions multiplying each other. Name it again as simplify before you multiply. And this is just more simplification. So anything from the top can kill anything from the bottom, right? Pope Grammy, how you doing? So anything from the top can kill anything from the bottom, as long as there's no plus and minus between them, right? So you got x minus 5 times x minus 5. This and this kill each other. And then that's it. Nothing else simplifies. So the final answer to this is x times x plus 9 over x plus 2 times x plus 13 times x minus 3. Let's see if she got it right. Let's check it out. This is this was her answer. So x, x plus 9, x plus 3, x plus 13. Oh, did she write down x plus 3? Oh, I'm going to check this. I might have just copied it down wrong, right? 
So this should be x minus x plus 2 because she has x minus 3 this. So that's probably me copying it down wrong. Okay. So not bad. She got the first one right. Woohoo, rock and roll. Ah, yes, math and such. Math and such. <laughs> ah, yes, Chicho. The goat, the goat. Free Assange, Free Assange, Free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital as power to humanity. For more information, please see your Julian Assange on WikiLeaks playlist. And on Monday, January 4th, okay, 2021, there's a decision going to be handed out regarding his extradition to the United States from the UK court. Okay, we're going to do a live stream Monday morning, 8 a.m. I don't really get the second step. Where does the x plus two come from? X plus two, x plus two. Dude, this guy here or this guy? Creeping uh, Lenny. Over here? Let me know and I'll explain it. Okay, the second one. Yeah, so this one. Okay, so check this out. All right, I'm going to erase this. I want to leave this up. I'm going to erase this part so we can show this work here. Okay. watch this it's called just basic extension of adding and subtracting fractions right so let's say adding fractions you're doing the following you're gonna add 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 how do you add fractions you add fractions by finding a common denominator right Knights of old comic how are you doing Chicho how can you do this math but not organize your comic books <laughs> Because the problem is nice so old comic. When I put the stuff in boxes, uh, I buy more comics coming in, right? So if I'm buying more comics coming in, I would have to have lots of space for, for example, when I'm buying X-Men, right? X-Men continues, continues, continues. So I would have to have a spa space available, empty space available for me to put my comics in as soon as they come in for the X-Men lot, right? Now, I, I don't have that space like a huge warehouse where I can just have empty space waiting for comics to come in so I just put things and then when I try to grab it I'm making excuses they're not organized <laughs> Marco Chicho just out of curiosity have you ever read George Orwell yeah I have it's a very powerful read very powerful indeed very powerful and so is Animal Farm Animal Farm very relevant multiply bottom and cross multiply then simplify well I won't call it cross multiply what you need to do is find a common denominator and the reason you find a common denominator is this let me let me show you this all right because a lot of people here I'm gonna erase these guys and I'm gonna give my give ourselves a little bit of space right and the last step was uh, bed mass and then simplify again simplify right and then there's other steps there for more complicated stuff where you find new <laughs> love this shot the new restrictions as well when you got division when things flip and stuff we'll go over it right there's a couple of them here now let's go back to adding fractions right let's say you have one over two plus one over three let's do a visual of this right if you're doing a visual of this simplify yes simplify yes if you're doing a visual of this a fraction is part of a whole so one over two means take an object, a whole object you have, and break it up into two pieces, right? So we're breaking up in this into two pieces, and you're taking one of the pieces. So one out of two, right? That's one out of two. For this one, plus, take a whole thing, right? And break it up into three pieces, and you're taking one out of three, right? Here's one out of three. Now we want to add one over two plus one over three, right? What is this? We will, we'll do it. Simplest form of this, right? So if you're going to add this plus this, we need to, like, we can't do it right now because they're not broken into compatible parts, right? So what we need to do is take each one of these holes and break them into equal parts and see what one out of that looks like right so 
the common denominator or the lowest common multiple for two and three is six so what we can break a whole thing into when we're dealing with one over two and one over three is to break that whole thing into six parts because both two and three go into six right five out of six perfect right but here's the visual so we're going to take this whole thing and break it into six pieces right and one out of two means a half means we're taking three out of six right so this becomes three over six plus this guy we're going to break into six pieces so we're going to go this 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 and we're taking this many which is two so this becomes plus two out of six and three over six plus two out of six because they have the same number of pieces now we can just add them up just add them one two three four five five pieces five over six right good math teacher what the, this guy is good math teacher right five out of six okay now how do you do how do you do this just algebraically without the visuals because you're not going to go through visuals all the time right what you do you find the lowest common multiple you say that's six and you ask yourself what did you multiply two by to give you six you multiply two by three so you multiply the top by three as well so you multiply the bottom by three you multiply the top by three and by the way do you know why you can do this because you can multiply any number by one without changing its value and three over three is one right so you're not changing the value of one out of two you're making it look different right you just that's all you're doing first thing i've understood thus far in diet uh, trust me that look mathematics is there's only five axioms everything else is built on that right so what happens is two times three is six which is what we had one times three is three plus what do you multiply three by to give you six you multiply three by two right but you can't just multiply the bottom by two you got to multiply the top by two because you don't want to change the value the weight of one over three you just want to make it look different so we're going to multiply the top by two and the bottom by two right because two over two is a one we're just multiplying it by one so one times two is two three times two is six six cool they have the same number of they broken the same size pieces now you just add them up you get five over six that's adding fractions right that's adding fractions yeah taunt them out for multiplying by one free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital as power to humanity for more information oh what are the five fundamental axioms it's just a distribution addition addition multiplication distribution uh, they're very basic it's just basically adding subtracting multiplying and dividing and the equal sign right so taking this principle let's add this and this right so again we're just adding fractions right so 2x over x minus 5 minus x over x plus 2 so we just went from adding 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 to adding 2x over x minus 5 minus x over x plus 2 so you ask yourself what's the common denominator I can't wait to see po political stream political streams we're going to do we're going to do one of these these sets of streams we got it on Monday it's going to be politics right so pi over 2 is 90 degrees yeah pi over 2 is 90 degrees yeah Marco right because pi is 360 if you convert it oh sorry 180 if you convert it 180 divided by 2 is 90 right trigonometry so common denominator you need this guy and you need this guy so common denominator is x minus 5 times x plus 2 okay so again you ask yourself the same thing 
what do you multiply x minus 5 by to give you x minus 5 times x plus 2? Well, you multiply it by x plus 2. So you have to multiply the top here by x plus 2. But you can't just multiply top by x plus 2. The reason we got x minus 5 times x plus 2 is because you multiply the bottom by x plus 2. And x plus 2 over x plus 2 is just 1. So you're not changing the weight of this fraction. You're just making it look different, right? And I always draw one line when I'm adding fractions to make them because they're over the same thing. Some people do, I like mathematicians, I've said this before, are the laziest people in the world, right? They want to reduce the amount of work they do. So what you can do is, if you want to take that extra step to make it separate, right? You could say, oh, this is now x minus 5 times x plus 2. And the top is 2x times x plus 2 minus. Well, the common denominator is x minus 5 times x plus 2. Well, what do you multiply x plus 2 by to give you this? Well, it's x minus 5. So this becomes x minus 5 times x minus 5, right? So this becomes x times x minus 5. And I usually don't write them in two separate pieces. I just draw a line and put that over both of them because that's their common denominator. These are very important when doing Laplace transformations, these simplifications, if I remember. I, I, Laplace, I haven't looked into for a long time. Right? Now, let's look at limits, okay? Because I forget who it was that wanted us to look at it. So let's look at limits. Anybody at all? I'm learning a tensor calculus right now. Oh my God. I love popping in to review everything I've previously learned. Nice. Tensors, man, I did that a long time ago. Uh, I don't remember it. I don't remember it. But let's graph a rational function, right? Marco, was you? Okay, do, done deal. Take a look at this thing. Let's graph a rational function here. We'll erase this as well, just in case we need the space, right? Thanks, I get it now. Awesome, creeping, creeping Lenny. It's important. Fractions, you need to be able to deal with fractions, right? Mathematic mathematicians are some of the laziest people in the world. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? <laughs> anyway, they are, I swear. <laughs> and eccentric as crazy, right? I get tensor anytime <laughs> someone says calculus. <laughs> Funny. Let's graph the following function. F of x is equal to, let's go x over x plus 2. Do you want x over x plus two? No, let's go x or well, one. Let's make it simple. We just want to look at the limits, right? So we're going to go, I wrote down x again. Let's go one over x plus two, right? Uncharted Ace, how are you doing? Da -da -dum -das. Use Wolfram, yeah, I use Wolfram too. Hey Chicho and Chad, hope you had a happy holidays. You too, you too as well. And happy new year, Uncharted Ace. So let's say we want to graph this, right? Graph this function. So the steps are the same, right? So first of all, you factor. If you're looking at a function, factor. Well, we don't need to factor this. It's already in simplest form, factored form, right? Then what you do is you find your restrictions. Restrictions. Both vertically, well, no, let's say you find your restrictions. Okay, we'll talk about asymptotes and stuff. So our restriction in mathematics is no dividing by zero really that's the only restriction we have in mathematics on charter days if we have any more let me know but uh, as far as high school mathematics is concerned and they say restriction of uh, no taking even roots of negative numbers but that's not a restriction that's dumbing down society right the, the in doc like uh, slowing down education <laughs> math education right they used to teach it to us uh, when I was in school, complex numbers, but they don't anymore right now in my part of the world, right? So the only restriction we have in mathematics is no dividing by zero. So what you do whenever you have rational functions or any type of function, you look at the denominator and if you can't divide by zero, then you say the denominator cannot equal zero, right? So this part, x plus two cannot equal zero, so x cannot equal negative 2. That is your restriction for this function. So now that we're starting to get values, numbers, let's 
generate our graph. So here's our graph. Right? Cartesian coordinate system, here's our x, here's f of x, which is really your y, and x cannot equal negative 2. So here's doop, doop, here's negative 2, and what does it mean x cannot equal negative 2? Well, what you do with that is you say, what's your asymptotes, right? So for next thing you do after you find your restrictions is you find your vertical, vertical asymptotes. Your vertical asymptote, if x cannot equal negative 2, your vertical asymptote is x cannot equal, uh, x equals negative 2, so vertical asymptote, right? It's just terminology, right? And gang, don't forget, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, see our Julian Assange and WikiLeaks playlist. Marco Chicho, specifically, can you inform me on how to use limits to solve for horizontal asymptote? I'm going to show you right at, right from here, right? You're going to see what limits means, right? So x equals 2 is a vertical asymptote. So this is an asymptote is basically a boundary that your function cannot touch or cross, right? So you, your function can't equal x is equal to negative 2 that means it can't this is a no-go zone this line right the universe explodes if you try to touch this line okay now that's your vertical asymptote your horizontal asymptote has these three things you have to consider right if you have a rational function f of x if you have a x to the power of n the highest power degree on this thing over b x to the power of n the highest power in the denominator okay what you do is you say if n is greater than m if the highest if the power up top is greater than the power in the bottom if the degree the highest power on the x is greater on top than it is in the bottom then there is no horizontal asymptote no horizontal asymptote if n is equal to m, if the power up top is the same as the power in the bottom, then the horizontal asymptote is the degree in front divided by this degree, right? So the horizontal asymptote is going to be y is equal to a over b. And if the degree up top is smaller than the degree in the bottom, focus, 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 focus. If n is less than m then the horizontal asymptote is y is equal to zero which is the x line right which is the case that we have right now gang thank you for the follows by the way and subs and donations and bits and stuff if i'm missing my apologies i just want to make sure we i don't make any mistakes no brain farts while i look here and look here right so what we have here here is a horizontal asymptote that means y this is y equals to zero the line y equals to zero that means f of x can never be zero which should be intuitive right can you plug anything in, in for x to make f of x equal to zero no you can't if you set x is equal to zero that's one over two well when x is zero y is one over two right I really need to uh, to get better with mathematics. This just goes over my. Does it on charter days? <laughs> it's it, 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 it. Once we start putting points on here, you'll see how this plays out, right? Now take a look at this thing. Now we need to graph this thing, right? We got our vertical asymptote. That's a no-go zone. We got our horizontal asymptote. We got a no-go zone, right? So what we have here, okay, is the boundaries of this function. And that's the way you start graphing a function. You find the areas that you can't go to, right? No, no go zone, no go zone, no go zone, no go zone. We got two of them, right? Then what you do is you find you try to find some key points. Okay. First of all, we could do a table of values if you want. X and f of x. Right? Let's do a couple of table of values. Now we don't have a no go to no go to zone when x is equal to zero so let's find out 
what the y intercept is when x is equal to zero because that's negative one that's zero that's one that's two and etc right so let's find out what f of zero is when x is zero f of zero is going to be one over zero plus two which is going to be one over two cool so when x is zero y is one over two so if that's one we're here all right that point is on this graph now what you do is you ask yourself what happens to the function as you approach this asymptote right now the limits what you can do is we'll do it by point right but that's where calculus comes in because calculus sort of gives you the behavior of a function defines it better right so let's assume we're here and we're going to start moving towards this asymptote so let's find out what f of negative one is right so what we're going to do we're going to go f of negative one is equal to one over negative one plus two negative one plus two is one so this just becomes one so when x is negative one y is one right when x is negative one y is one cool now one of the properties of a function is when you're graphing something is asymptotes sort of act like magnets if this is my function coming towards an asymptote the function either does this because this sort of acts like a magnet pushing pushing it pushing it pushing it, right the function comes like this it either goes like this right because it can't touch it or it comes in and goes like this dives down or comes in and does a or right there's a couple other things it could do too right so all right so without calculus you can only precisely estimate what a value is at a certain point uh no we're we're actually finding the exact value right now right we're actually finding what y is exactly at when x is equal to negative one right and then what we do is we can get closer and closer to negative two we can just put points here points here points here but what's going to happen is basically this thing's going to shoot up right so what you can do is you can write it like this you can say f of x as x approaches negative two from the positive side right let me write this bigger so you see it right it's sort of terminology again mathematicians are the laziest people on the planet they, they create little symbols to figure things out right so if you got a function this function right here as x approaches negative 2 from the positive side so what we're saying is if we're on this function we're going to approach negative 2 from above negative 2 what is f of x equal to well y goes up 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 it equals infinity it goes forever so it's going to be infinity and you can say positive infinity if you want because sometimes it might go down and become negative infinity right now check this out what happens as you go this way as x gets bigger and bigger so let's say x is 2 if you sub in x is 2 f of 2 is equal to 1 over 2 plus 2 which is 1 over 4 so when x is 2 you're at a quarter and because an asymptote again even a horizontal asymptote acts like a magnet here let me put this down acts so if this is a horizontal asymptote and we're coming down to this this thing keeps on pushing up pushing up pushing up pushing up pushing up it'll go closer and closer to this asymptote but it'll never touch it right so what this means is this function goes like this why does it do that because no matter how big an x value you put in for x in this function the bottom is going to become bigger and bigger and one divided by a huge number is going to be really close to zero but it's never going to be touching zero and it will never be negative right so we're good on this side of 
the vertical asymptote. Now, what you want to do whenever you're graphing functions is you want to find out what's happening on either side of vertical asymptotes or holes or whatever you have, right? So you're mainly concerned when you're graphing something. The zones that you're going to look at are the X restrictions that you have, right? So vertical asymptotes that you have. So we know what the function is going to do on this side. And we know the function is not going to be here. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a function, right? Hello, Chicho. How do you, how you, how do you do? I do well. Thank you. I hope you're doing well as well. Happy New Year from Jamaica. Ha ha. Right on, Jamaica. Happy New Year, brother. Happy New Year, brother. Infinitesimal. It becomes infinitesimal. I hope you guys are having a nice, warm Christmas here. You can hear the rain. It's gotten wintry, right? So we know what's going on on this side. Let's see what happens on this side, right? And by the way, the other way you could write for this is f of x. What happens to f of x as x approaches 0, right? Uh, not Sorry, not 0. As x goes to infinity, right? As x goes to infinity, as x gets bigger and bigger, right? f of x approaches 0. Right? Now, what happens as you approach negative 2 from the negative side, from this side, right? Is it going to go like this or is it going to go like this? Let's check it out. So let's find out. Let's pick another integer closest, the closest integer to negative 2. Okay. No mods in the chat. Elder God is here. Yes, but how do we prove that using limits? Uh, how do you prove it using limits? This is sort of the proof. I don't know if it's you call the proof. Uh, what kind of proof? Oh, you're thinking about doing uh, calculus in terms of, oh, okay, I'll show you. Okay, I'll show you after we look at what the function does this way. Okay, you're talking about calculus, doing the first fundamental theorem of calculus. So we'll do it. Okay. Now, pick negative 3. So f of negative 3 is going to be 1 over negative 3 plus 2, which is going to be 1 over negative 1, which is negative 1. Oh, wow. So f of negative 3, when x is negative 3, y is negative 1. So we're here. Cool right no no elder god it's all good no 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 we, we don't have any trolls or anything here right now everybody's into mathematics because mathematics makes everybody smarter stuff right yeah that's d of x stuff indeed lift noid right no i was just asking if there are any mods in the chat all no. right so this point is on this function and there's an asymptote and there's an asymptote and we know that once the point is here you can't touch this line or that line you can't cross it and they act as magnets so from here we know the function does this and this right that's what it does okay oh, quite cool we're about are you located at chicho i'm in uh west coast of canada Vancouver, Victoria. Rainy. We're in a temperate rainforest. It's nice. Very green. Very green. Lots of rain. Lots of rain. I think the stats is out of 365 days a year, I think it rains here or it's overcast here. It's like 220 days or something. <laughs> it's crazy. A lot of people move here. They go, oh, it's so beautiful. So beautiful. And then they move here. They live here for a couple of years. They go stir crazy. They're like, oh, my God. It's so it's so dark and overcast and cloudy and, and rainy. They, they don't handle it well, some people, right? So that's what it looks like. Now, let's use the first fundamental theory of calculus to do this. Look at the limits of this. Hopefully, I can remember how to do it, right? Are you okay with this? And this is the way you would write this one, right? You would say f of x as x approaches negative 2. So it's the same thing here. What's, what happens to f of x as x approaches negative 2? But for this one, we went from positive side going this way. 
For this one, we're going to go from the negative side. Well, if you approach negative 2 from bottom, negative means from less than negative 2. You go this way, you're going to approach negative infinity. Negative infinity. Right? Cool. I used to reside in Germany when I studied there. I moved to Jamaica and now I sort of live off the land. Uh, you could say, oh man, awesome, awesome. Would take, would take one, two, three. Living off the land sounds like a great thing to do. You're growing your own food and stuff. No rain here in Arizona. No, you guys get very little rain. One in th 65 days I've been here. And gang, don't forget, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital as power to humanity. For more information, see our Julian Assange and WikiLeaks playlist. Let's do the fundamental theorem of calculus on this. X plus 2. Let's write that down. X plus 2. Now, fundamental theorem of calculus says this, right? What you're doing is, I'm going to give you a quick little intro on it. We have a video on there. If you do calculus into intro fundamental theorem and whatnot, it'll pop up because we did a live stream on this, right? So basically, you're doing this. If you have a function, right? What you want to do is you want to, let's say this is your function. Let's say that's your function. You want to find the slope of a certain point, right? The rate of change at that point. So what you do is you zoom in, narrow down on that point. So you first you find the slope between two, two points, and then you come closer, 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 you do this, right? And the fundamental theorem of calculus says this. If you have a function f of x, and you want to take the limit. Let me write down the limit. Oh man, I gotta find the do. Let me find the proper terminology. I'm gonna write it down and see if I have any uh, mistakes on it. So you want to find uh, uh, the limit of f of x as x approaches a certain number, h. Let's say, right? I think it's h. Then what you do is you go f of x plus h. Oops, h minus f of x over h, right? I think that's what it is. Right. Ice and snow storm here in southern LP of Minnesota. Budek, yes, yes, sir. I came here on vacation with my wife and realized, wow, we have to live here. I was originally born in the southern part of Italy, so I have the beach in my blood ah nice went on vacation and decided to stay that's cool or you must have come back and organized things and then came back again right given the all liver break yes thanks this is what i was referencing yeah, okay awesome marco we do i think it should be limit as h approaches zero oh as h approaches zero that's right thanks dice power my bad so this is limit as h approaches zero and we're going to put down is equal to limit as h approaches zero and this is the derivative f of x limit do i have that right do we put the limit on this side seriously <laughs> we do this right f of x prime the derivative is limit as h approaches zero right pitra how are you doing hello hello chicho i think some of your neighbors might be vampires <laughs> how come why <laughs> i love your type of stream awesome awesome Petra. love doing it right so take a look at this thing what's the restriction we have in mathematics what was the restriction we had in mathematics the restriction we had in mathematics is we can't divide by zero so if h approaches zero, if we set h is equal to zero, we can't do that because then we're dividing by zero. Oh, how do we deal with this? Well, we substitute in what we have here, right? Yes, yes, I did return. 
I was originally a police detective in Italy, so it took some time to get off the grid back home. Oh man, a great decision getting out of the uh, policing to go into Jamaica, live off the land. It was so much better. I'm Italian, but I want to hear you. So take a look at this thing. And welcome Italy, by the way. Salutations. Right. So let's do this. When you're doing this, do this, right? And this basically means, and by the way, gang, thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subs. Appreciate them. And the bits and the donations and the tokens and all that jazz, right? So F of X plus H means just substitute X plus H for here, right? So what we're going to do is, hopefully I have enough room because this gets messy, okay? Whoa, guy, how are you doing? Chicho, hey, Cholo. I didn't know you do math, homies. Oh, of course, orale. <laughs> Carnal. <laughs> on a graph, if you are on the x-axis, x is zero, right? On the graph, if you're on the x-axis, uh, no, y is zero. On a graph, if you're on the x-axis, y is zero. And if you're on y, y is zero. No, 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 the other way around. If you're on a on a graph x and f of x or if you want to call this y right if you're here this is y is equal to zero that's y is one y is two y is negative one y is negative two so y is zero and focus 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 right and the other way around right it's a common mistake by the way it's a common mistake okay it just feels like you want to say x is zero but it's not it's y is zero right so substitute this in for x right so f of i'm just going to do it here and then we're going to erase it so we're basically we're doing f of x plus h well f of x plus h just means substitute this in for x so that becomes one over x plus h plus two you're okay with that this is some breaking bad math reminds me of eisenberg eisenberg i don't make the blue stuff though <laughs> Chicho, honestly, I highly uh, recommend this to anybody despite of their social status or age. I have never been this happy in my life. I've had so much more time to focus on my relationship with my partner and certain parts of me. As an, exa as an example, my skin have become so clear. And oh, brother, I doubt it not. I Seriously, uh, I believe you. I believe you everybody has to get out of the rat race and one of the ways you get out of a rat race is learn mathematics right like the number line indeed right so let's plug that in so that becomes f of x plus h is one over let me write this down oh we're gonna do the limit i gotta write down the limit too right we can't forget this part limit as h approaches zero of 1 over x plus h plus 2 minus 1 over and that's just f of x x plus 2 all over h right oh what do we do now we can't we still can't set h is equal to 0 because we get a division by 0 well crunch 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 add these two fractions how do we add these two fractions well We've got to find a common denominator common denominator is x plus h plus 2 times x plus 2 right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to write this limit as h approaches zero i'm going to do the division over here divided by h right because i'm going to do this part so common denominator for adding these two guys and it's just adding fractions right is x plus h plus 2 times x plus 2. Well, what did you multiply this by to give you this? Well, you multiply by x plus 2. So you multiply top by x plus 2. So that just becomes 1 times x plus 2, which is x plus 2 minus. What did you multiply x plus 2 by to give you this? You multiply by x plus h plus 2, right? So you go minus 1 times that x plus h plus 2 right but yeah it's nice nobody bothers me 
my bills are dirt cheap I have garden everything is local I buy my meat at a local farm and I can see the animals and food I am eating when they are alive I've never used a barbecue so much nice nice Von Dutchy been four years since I completed my math degree and I can maybe remember 30% of <laughs> brother me too I had to go back and relearn all this right this is the same type of stuff we did a while back yeah so expand this well this is just x plus 2 minus minus in front of bracket means you subtract all these right all the signs change minus x minus h minus 2 so we just instead of rewriting it I'm doing this right now we're gonna simplify this okay if we simplify this this becomes x minus x will that kill each other 2 minus 2 they kill each other so in top limit as h approaches 0 at the top we got negative h over x plus h plus 2 times x plus 2 divided by h means times 1 over h right that's what it means so Chicho, what can you do with these math? I feel like this would be helpful for one uh, in the business, uh, for sure, in business and engineering and philosophy and uh, sociology and data analysis, and, like everywhere, really. Uh, have I, do I use calculus in my daily life? No, but I do look at the rate of change. I do look at graphs to see to get a visual of how a function behaves right over time and then you can do the calculus ie doing the calculus means looking into the future or looking into the past looking at the rate of change to see how a system behaves so it's really analyzing systems right just doing these sort of problems elevates your mind it shows your ability to think yeah and it's problem solving it it's critical thought is and you're you're able to if you know mathematics really here's one thing i tell everybody when you know math like it can't do harm first of all if you know something you learn mathematics it's not going to do damage like it's one of the few things when you acquire knowledge over a certain thing it's not going to or tool it can only benefit you right but one thing mathematics does it allows you to see bs coming a mile away right when people start throwing numbers at you and stuff like this you can you can do the calculus you can do the mathematics and go hey wait a second those numbers don't make sense right so it's a great bs detector right so it prevents you from falling for propaganda very important cool what is your current occupation my friend you seem like an interest i i i do i create content online and i've been teaching mathematics for like 20 years privately I can't function in an institution uh, I figured that one out long time ago right <laughs> I would get fired or uh, I would I would not be happy so I sort of do did what you did I took myself off the grid but I like I, I don't mind living uh, I love living here actually Temp living in the rainforest for me is be beautiful right i love the greenery right okay all well, computers use a system of open close zero and one to make a graph computers yeah until we get quantum computing right big o notation is the efficiency of the graph made by the data so take a look at this thing we're multiplying fractions number one rule for multiplying fractions reduce before you multiply so take a look at this thing a little tangent right what if we had this 25 over 15 times 28 over 36 times 18 over 14 times I don't know 9 over 15 all right how do you simplify this how do you multiply this well if you're multiplying fractions I, I've had people do this I go okay multiply these guys multiply 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 what is this equal to I've had students take a calculator when they first start working with and they start punching in numbers and I let them do this by the way 
they punch in numbers this times this times this times this and they get one gigantic number right they get a gigantic number and then they go this times this times this times this and they get another gigantic number and then they go okay that's the answer they tell me i go well you can't leave it like that you gotta simplify it reduce it and then they try to reduce this fraction to a smaller form right and i let them do this and they do this i go okay uh do you think there's an easier way to do this they go like well i just use a calculator I just do this i go well here's another easier way simplify before you multiply my government failed calculus i'm sure <laughs> that would have got simplify before you multiply anything from the top can kill anything from the bottom right as long as there's no plus or minus between them five goes into 25 five times five goes into 15 three times three goes into nine three times three goes into 15 five times five kills five 14 goes into 28 twice six goes into 36 six times six goes into 18 three times two goes into six three times three kills three. Oh, the answer is one one that's cool answer is one isn't that a lot easier than multiplying the numbers and then trying to figure out what they are afterwards you have to simplify the fraction first right so keep that in mind right well we got negative h over this times one over h h kills h so we got negative one up top <gasps> we got rid of an h what can we do now well what we can do is multiply this out right yes chicho but now solve for the napkin ring paradox type like now what you can do is foil this out or you got limit as h approaches zero right of negative one over x plus h plus two times x plus two well now it's just you can just sub in h is equal to zero because you you're not going to get a division by zero so if you sub in h is equal to zero this is what you get negative one over x plus two times x plus two which is really equal to negative one over x squared plus 4x plus 4. So as for this function, as f of f of x as h approach for the limit of h approaches zero of this thing, that's your function, your uh, equation of the tangent for this function, right? Now, does that make sense? So if you want to find out what the tangent line is for any point of x, you just plug it in. So here, let's find out what f of zero is. So f of zero is going to be one over two because you sub an x is equal to zero, you got one over two. What's the slope of the graph at x is equal to zero well you just plug in because what we have is our function here now is f prime of x the derivative the derivative of this function is negative one over x squared plus four x plus four right so f prime of zero the slope of this function at x is equal to zero you just plug in zero here so it becomes one negative one over zero squared plus four times zero plus four it's just negative one over four negative one over four that's the slope of the function at x is equal to zero right let's see you'll be ready also make it ring o in big O notation. Does, is that okay? I hope that answers your question, uh, Marco. It's basically using the fundamental theorem of calculus. Apologies for not writing not properly. At first, anyway. I got a papa. Pickle. Gang, I hope you have good food you're eating. Whoops. Homemade pickles. Whoops. Hey, come here, you. 
I'm gonna pop this guy. I'm gonna pop another garlic. Think about it, Chicho. What are we thinking about? Glyphthenoid. Make it, make it ring O in big O notation. Ring O and ring zero in big O notation. Ring zero in big O notation. And onion is great too. Pickled onion is amazing. That's a lot of garlic. Oh, I'll be eating more than that. Garlic is good for you. Keeps you healthy. A clove of garlic and it keeps the COVID away. <laughs> it's pickled garlic. So it, it's not going to burn your tongue. Homemade pickled garlic. Delicious. Should we do another? Vampire. Keep the vampires away. Should we do another one of these guys? Let's do another one. Here's another rational expression. Okay. Simplify this. And again, it's fractions, right? X plus 2. X plus 2 over 5 divided by X minus 3 over X. And this is just homework that I'm checking that a student of mine has written, right? So I just want to make sure she's doing it right because it's a hand in, hand in test they gave them, right? Hi, fan James Bond. How are you doing? If you're doing this, if you got fractions over fractions, write them sideways. So this is x plus two over five divided by x minus three over x. Restrictions. What are your restrictions? Restrictions. Your restrictions is here's a fraction here. X can't equal zero. Okay. Now you have a division here. Now, if you got a division here, it changes to multiplication. X plus two over five times, and you flip it, right? X over X minus three. Oh, you just got another restriction, right? And this is multiplication, by the way. I'm gonna use a dot so we don't get confused with the X's. So over here, we got another restriction. X minus three can't equal zero. So X can't equal three. Two restrictions, okay? Chicho won't get COVID or vampire advice. That's an all, all round great medicine. That's an all round great medicine. Oh, I've done that. And in France, it's called the hospital rule. Hospital rule. Yeah, no, it, it, me too. But well, on certain things, I use ginger root for my health stuff. Yeah, ginger root. Oh, ginger is amazing. So now that's we got this can we simplify this we can't simplify this so those are restrictions so this is just straight up multiplication so the answer to this is just x times x plus 2 over 5 times x minus 3 and that's it you can't simplify this you can multiply it in you could go like this x squared plus 2x over 5x minus 15 right but i i prefer it like this factored form okay and my student got it right so yeah 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 this is a silly question that they gave her right it's too easy it's just multiplying fractions right let's do another one another one is the next one is solving rational equations i'm drinking ginger lemon tea right now nice with honey nice health boost activated indeed play it martin I'm drinking uh, Persian black tea with uh, uh, spearmint that we picked from our garden that we dried. Salute everyone. Hope you have good drinks, good food. So let's solve the. So the other two were just simplifying uh, rational expressions, right? Let's solve a rational equation. 
So this would be solve. And solving just means get x by itself, right? So 4 over 2x plus 1, or minus 1, doop, minus 1, plus 2 over x plus 3 is equal to negative 6, negative 6 over 2x squared, where are we, plus 5x, plus 5x minus 3. So name of the game is, okay, thank you for the follows game. Name of the game is factor everything first, right? We mentioned this. So factor everything first. This is already factored. That's already factored. We need to factor this one, right? So let's factor this guy. 2x squared plus 5x minus 3. I'm going to use the four-step method, right? And we've, we've got videos online for this. Four-step method. And this is a complex trinomial. If you just do Chicho complex trinomial, the videos will pop up. Okay. Take this. You get x squared plus 5x minus 6. Factor this guy, x, x. Two numbers that multiply to give you negative 6, add to give you positive 5. What are they? Positive 6 and negative 1, right? So plus 6 minus 1. And then you pop the 2 back in front. So you get 2x plus 6 times 2x minus 1 and then factor whatever you can and dump it 2 comes out of that so this guy factored is x plus 3 and 2x minus 1 right so this is factored is x plus 3 and 2x minus 1 do you notice something when you're in school they try to make things work out nicely not like the real world right so x plus 3 2x minus 1 right so that's your check to see how things are working out right so this guy factored is this guy we don't need that guy no more right what do you do next when you factor everything you find your restrictions what are your restrictions 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 is the denominators can't equal zero so x plus three can't equal zero which means x can't equal negative three x can't equal negative three 2x minus 1 can't equal 0, so x can't equal 1 over 2, right? So x can't equal 1 over 2. This, like, you're doing this, you do this. x minus 1 cannot equal 0. Bring the negative 1 over. 2x cannot equal 1. Divide by 2. So x can't equal 1 over 2, right? That's all you're doing. Okay. And these are the same as those, so that's what it is. Then what you do, if you have an equal sign, what you can do is an equal sign says whatever you do on one side you can do to the other side so what you can do is multiply both sides of the equation by the common denominator and that kills the denominators right so we're going to multiply this whole equation by x plus 3 and x minus 2. so multiply this whole equation by multiply by x plus 3 and 2x minus 1. So what's four here? I'll do this and then do show you the step and then we're gonna do it speedy Gonzalez on the rest of them, right? What's four over two x minus one times x plus three times two x minus one? That's over one. Anything from the top can kill anything from the bottom. Reduce your fractions before you multiply. This kills this. The reason we multiply by a common denominator, because it kills all the denominators. So this guy becomes 4 times x plus 3. 2 over x plus 3 times that. The x plus 3 kills the x plus 3. So it's just 2x minus 1 that multiplies the 2. 2x minus 1 is equal to. And this times this. That kills that. So it's just negative 6. Oh, that was easy. Right? Nice. Let's erase these guys. I'll erase this too. Now what you do, you expand and you multiply. You expand and simplify, right? Combine your like terms. So this becomes 4x plus 12 plus 2x minus 2 is equal to negative 6. Combine your like terms. 4x plus 2, 2x is 6x. 12 minus 2 is plus 10 is equal to negative 6. Grab this do wiki, bring it over. 6x is equal to negative 16. Divide by 6. 
So x is equal to common. Uh, you can simplify this fraction. Negative 16 over 6 is negative 8 over 3. Is that what we got? Is that what she got? I don't think she got that. How come? How come? How come? She didn't get the right answer. Did we do it wrong? I don't think so. Oh, check it out. She got the answer. She got x minus 2. She did it wrong. I gotta make a little note here. Wrong. Gotta look at her work now to see where she made the mistake, right? Unless you guys can see a mistake I did. Yeah, 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 I think we did it right. Okay, so that's one mistake she made. So I have to look at that mistake and tell her to do it again. And that's the way I end up teaching. I look at their work, students' work, and if I find they got, they got the wrong answer, I look at their work and I say, listen, is this really what you do? Try it again. And if they do the same mistake again, and then we go over it with a different type of question, and I get them to do it again, All right? Repetition is one way you learn, right? Unless I did something wrong. I don't think I did anything wrong. I got, I'm gonna write down the answer. X is equal to negative eight over three. That's what I got, okay? So, Let's do the next one. Here's another rational, and rational equation to solve, right? Another rational equation to solve. Let me make sure we're still. Hopefully, we're still live streaming. We should be. It's sort of like really raining hard here. If it rain rains hard, if it gets windy, which is a little windy. Uh, sometimes we lose the connection but I don't think we've lost the connection while this is popping up I'm gonna write this down uh, 3x so solve this 3x over so we're gonna solve this again so 3x over x squared plus 5x plus 6 plus Two over. Oh, this page is not loading up. Well, stream says we're still going. OBS. Let's reload again. Yeah, it looks like we're live still. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Now, two over x squared plus x minus two x squared plus x minus 2 is equal to 5x over x squared plus 2x minus 3 yeah minus 3 so what we do factor everything two numbers are multiplied to give you 6 add to give you 5 x plus 2 x plus 3 two numbers are multiplied to give you negative 2 add to give you 1 x plus 2 x minus 1 Two numbers are multiplied to give you negative three out to give you two. X plus three, X minus one, right? Do you notice X plus two, X plus two, X plus three, X plus three, X minus one, X minus one. What's the common denominator for this? Common denominator for this is X plus two, X mi plus three, X minus one. So you multiply the whole thing by those three multiply by we're going to put a little dot x plus 2 x plus 3 x minus 1 what do you multiply this by to give you that well it's just x minus 1 right so you just the missing component here is what you multiply the top by right so this becomes 3x times x minus 1 plus 2 times x plus 3 is equal to 5x times x plus 2. 
right? It's just whatever was missing in the bottom here from those three is what you multiply the top by. Okay, I hope that's clear. Really straightforward and simplifies your equation greatly, right? You don't have to deal with the fractions no more, right? So multiply this out. 3x squared minus 3x plus 2x plus 6 is equal to 5x squared plus 10x. Now, because you have an x squared and an x term, bring everything over to one side. Okay. So I'm going to bring, because I want my x squares to be positive, I can combine these guys. Negative 3x plus 2x is negative x. So those are gone. And then I'm going to grab this whole thing and bring it over. So this is negative 3x squared plus x minus 6. Okay. Right? So what we end up having is 2x squared plus 11x minus 6 is equal to 0. So what we need to do now is factor this to the key, right? Oh, yeah, what was our restrictions? Forgot the restrictions. Restrictions. x cannot equal 1, negative 2, and negative 3. Okay. Always write down your restrictions, gang. Okay. Now, factor this guy. Take the two factoring complex trinomials. x squared plus 11x minus 12 is equal to 0. Two numbers that multiply to give you negative 12 add to give you positive 11 is plus 12 and minus 1. Drop the two back in. Take out the GCF and dump it. 2 comes out of that, so this is x plus 6, and this is 2x minus 1. So your solution is x plus 6 is equal to 0, and 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. So x is equal to negative 6, and x is equal to 1 over 2. Or any of those, as soon as you get the answer, check your restrictions. Or any of those, one of your restrictions, if they are, you kill them. They're not solutions, but they're not. Our restrictions are 1, negative 2, and negative 3, and our answers is negative 6 and a half. It's all legit, so they both work. Boink, boink. They're both good. And she got the right answer. Rock and roll. Woo -hoo -hoo. So good, good, and that was good. I think I just wrote that one down wrong. So that's not bad. Should we do one more? Let's do one more. Okay. Let's check this out. For some reason, I think the stream might be having major hiccups, but we'll find out. Check it out, check it out. Let's do the next one. Solve for this. X minus 4, solve x minus 4 over x minus 3 plus x minus 2 over x minus 3 is equal to x minus 3. Wow. This one I think is an easy one. What's the common denominator? It's just x minus 3, right? So we multiply both sides of the equation by x minus 3. I'm going to type something in the chat just to make sure we're still doing good. Or is there hiccups? There's some internet problems all over the place. So what should we do? Let's do a command. Free Assange. Oh, I think we've lost it because the chat's not popping up. Definitely, definitely. But we're going to finish this. Unfortunately, it looks like the stream might have died. But good thing we're recording this. And we're going to upload this. Right? So let's do this. X minus 4. Oh, we did this. So we multiply both sides of the equation by X minus 3. So this times that. The X minus 3 kills the X minus 3. So this is just X minus 4 times x minus 3 plus 
Oh no, the X minus three kills the X minus three. We don't need the X minus three, all right? So it's just X minus four. So this is just X minus four plus X minus three kills X minus three. So that's just X minus two. And this is just X minus three times X minus three. Foil that guy, combine your leg terms. Okay, we got X plus X is two X. Negative four minus two is negative six is equal to, foil this out, you get x squared minus three x minus three x plus nine. Combine your like terms because minus six x, right? Grab these guys, bring them over. So this becomes x squared, this becomes minus two x, this becomes plus six. So this becomes negative eight x, right plus 15 is equal to zero two numbers are multiply to give you 15 I have to give you negative 8 X X minus 5 minus 3 because if you multiply negative 5 and negative 3 it gives you positive 15 add them you get negative 8 so now you got X is equal to X minus 5 is equal to zero and x minus three is equal to zero so x is equal to five and x is equal to three cool those are the answers All right now take a look at this thing we got two answers and we always have to check it against our restrictions but we forgot to write down the restrictions what are the restrictions restriction is x can't equal three if x can't equal three that one's a bogus answer boop, boop. so the answer is only x equals five and she got the right answer she got the right answer sweet 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 i'm not sure if uh anybody caught this it could be just the chat that's got killed it could be because the streams continues to say it's streaming and i was able to see myself on the stream but but we're not getting any chat action and we're like I wasn't even able to post my own chat on there so there's a hiccup somewhere okay I hope that works out uh, we're gonna upload this video to both BitChute and YouTube okay and since we're recording this it should work out fine and um, just in case there's people watching on the live stream and for the recorded version that's going to go up uh, first of all thank you for being here gang thank you for the follows thank you for the subs thank you for the donations thank you for the bits thank you for the conversations thank you for the questions mods thank you for being here all the god okay aside from that gang uh as for what this is all about who i am i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o if you want to follow this work if you want to support this work if you want to know what this is all about patreon is a great way to do so everything's layered on mathematics i don't put anything behind paywalls everything's creative commons you can follow the work and if you think this work deserves your support patreon is a great way to do so and for those of you who've been supporting this work on patreon thank you very much for the support gang very much appreciate it we are live streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash chicho live, C-H-Y-C-H-O-L-I-V-E. If you want to participate in the chat when it's working, <laughs> Twitch is where you want to be at. And again, gang, thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for the donations. Thank you for being here. Okay. I do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on Parlor, Hello, Minds, VK, Gap, and Twitter. And we do share additional content there. And if our chat was working, let's see if it's going to work. You can go to our chat on this on Twitch anytime and type in exclamation mark social and all the links will pop up, including our Discord page where there's a lot of people who join who are sharing information. For live streams where we don't have any visuals, we do upload the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho C H Y C H O as a podcast and it should be available on your favorite podcasting platform. And we will be uploading this live stream this video to both bitshoot and youtube and if you're on those platforms you can support this work by joining subscribing turning on notifications guaranteed to get your notifications through bitshoot 
not so much through YouTube and if you're on YouTube you can support this work by joining YouTube membership and for those of you who are supporting this work through YouTube membership thank you very much for your support again very much appreciated and thank you for being here I hope you enjoyed the content the mathematics our first live stream for the new year we're gonna do a lot more of these aside from that we got another five six live streams lined up for the next five days I believe tomorrow oh tomorrow we're gonna to do a comic book reading Monday morning Julian Assange live stream Monday night meditation live stream Tuesday we're gonna do music lyrics Wednesday we're doing current events I believe I think and on Thursday Chicho Salvia Donor Chronicles gang I hope you have a fantastic fantastic day I hope 2021 brings you lots of joy and happiness and uh, we'll be here for a long time to come and there's a lot of live streams we're gonna be doing this year I hope you join us bye everyone <laughs>